I've imagined if we worked at a you know normal studio, it'd be like, listen, JC, I got a great pitch for you. <laughs> this old man floats his house up in the sky with balloons, see? Because that's how you pitch. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Bob Peterson, who is the co-writer and co-director, he and I got the chance to just sit in a room and think and draw. And one of the images we came up with was this floating house, and it always seemed to touch on something that I think is fairly universal, just escape. Please let me in. No. Oh, right. Knowing we we sort of have the confidence we could make an appealing character out of this guy. Yeah, I mean, we've story. made car, uh, characters about cars and insects, rats and things. Rats. <laughs> figured an old man. Uh, <laughs> Fair game. Okay. It looks so chocolatey. Russell, if you... maybe if I'm really quick. Wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Awesome. We try to make every film for every single person that every age can enjoy and would want to see. And once in a while we do think, well, our kids are going to be watching this. Are, are we moving too slow here or are we right. too confusing? But most of the time we just try to appeal to ourselves. Uh, I guess we're sort of emotionally junior high level age. <laughs> yeah, so it just and, works. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Even though it is as bizarre a film as an old man floating away in his house, that hopefully there's something there that is very relatable, that everybody can understand and feel. Uh, a lot of people thought that Pixar would never be able to top WALL-E, which was such a huge success, critically and commercially, last year. But Up is their first masterpiece. It's extraordinary. This is a beautifully constructed film. Characters are wonderful and memorable. The animation is, as ever, flawless. The jokes are bizarre and, and kind of wonderful. And uh, overall, uh, I, I would be surprised if there's a better film than Up released in cinemas this year.